Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Becker Designs. I have a really fun treat for you. This is a gumball test tube holder. Um, this would make a great party favor. This would make a great little birthday gift. Keep a few of these in your desk at work, hand them out when it's somebody's birthday. Um, it features the gumball greetings bundle from the Stampin' Up! 2022 Spring Mini Catalog. It is a fabulous bundle. Um, I really think if you haven't gotten it, you have to get it. It's really fun and has lots of options. I have two other gumball greeting projects on the same blog post as this one, and I'll have another one um, on the Monday following. So make sure you click the link and go over to my blog and check it out. All right, we're gonna start by making the holder first, okay? Now there's a free PDF over there on my blog. It will have the measurements as well as supplies and the link to the gumball test tube that I'm gonna show you in just a minute. All right, you're gonna need two pieces of gorgeous grape cardstock. Um, one is two and a fourth by eight. That's the long one. We're going to score that. The other one is two and a fourth by six and a half, and we're not going to score that one. All right. On the long side, you're going to score it at one and three fourths, two and a half, five and a half, and six and a fourth. Now we're going to need to put some holes in it. And I have always used my three quarter inch punch for this. We don't carry these anymore, um, but I will also provide you a link if you need one. Um, you can also look at your die, see if you have a small circle. Um, that's what you're going to need. We're going to fold this kind of accordion style so that it looks like that. We're going to punch this hole right in the center and it's not going to fit totally in this section. So it's going to kind of go over that line a little bit, which is totally okay. All right, so do that. Now, if you're worried about centering it, take that circle you just punched out and adhere it down here where it needs to go and then line your punch up to that. But I'm just gonna eyeball it. There we go. All right, now we're gonna adhere it to the other smaller piece. We're gonna make it the same size as this piece. So take your adhesive and put it on both ends like that. And we're gonna line up either the top or the bottom and then line up the other end like that. And there is your holder, okay? Pretty easy. Now, I've got two pieces of designer series paper. We're gonna stick these on. Um, these are from the Brights stack. And we'll put those on the top and the bottom. All right, now let me tell you about the test tubes. These test tubes are from Amazon. I used to have to order test tubes from a science company. I do lots of test tube projects, but now you can just get them from Amazon. I will post a link to these. I've ordered many test tubes over the past. They come in different sizes, different uh, widths, um, but I'll post the exact ones that I bought. I also ordered the double bubble, bubble gum, all colors in there, but I use the colors to match our project. So that's gonna slide into your holder just like that. And it is a tight fit, but that's good because we want it to hold our test tube in place, okay? There we go. All right, see how that fits in there? Now let's make our tag. We're using the little small gumball machine image. Um, let's stamp that in memento. And we're gonna color it with Stampin' Blends. Again, I have chosen colors to kind of match our project. Polish Pink, Granny Apple Green, Highland Heather, and then Daffodil Delight and Pumpkin Pie. And I'm just gonna use the bullet end to just color these gumballs randomly. All right, now, once you have your polished, or your gumball machine, the gumballs colored in, I'm gonna use polished pink to color in the rest of my gumball machine. I'm gonna start with a light polished pink. I'm gonna fill all that in like that. Then I'm gonna go back with my dark, and I'm gonna add kind of some contrast Add a little shadow behind each of the little pieces here. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna go back with my light and blend all that together. And we'll do the same thing up here. Go around like that and fill it in. All right, now let's cut it out. We're also gonna cut out, let me show you this really fun die, <laughs> this little strip of hearts. We're gonna make a little strip for our tag and we've got a die to cut out our gumball machine. So bring over your cut and emboss machine. And we'll line these up. I think I made my strip a little bit too wide. I'm gonna need to cut that down a little bit. All right. Now I'm gonna grab my trimmer. I'm gonna make that about, I think it needs to just be about a half inch thick. There we go. Look at all those cute little hearts. Save those for another project. Now I have a basic white label that I cut with a Hippo and Friends dies. We're going to stamp the sentiment in polished pink, actually Highland Heather. And we're gonna do it just kind of right here in the middle over to the right side. All right, now take your gumball machine and put that on there like that. Now I've got another strip of that same designer series paper. And I'm gonna put that kind of at an angle like that. And then we will use Tombow on this one. Okay. Put that right there. Now I'm gonna grab my little gumball um, stamp and I'm gonna stamp gumballs all over this. I'm gonna just use one of the gumballs at a time. I'm gonna stamp it on the very corner of my ink pad so that I just do one. Okay, and now you want to make sure you clean it, and we'll do polished pink. Whoops. And one there, and let's do Highland Heather so I can cover up that little boo-boo that I just made. Okay, right there. <laughs> and let's do one over here on the corner. And one more right there. All right, let's bring back over our holder. Put that on with dimensionals. And the last thing we're gonna do is add a little bow. This is the black and white. Whoops, did I put that crooked? I sure did. There we go. This is the black and white twine from the Playful Pets ribbon combo pack. And we will put that on with a mini glue dot. And then that is it. Pretty easy project. Like I said at the beginning, I think this would make great party favor or a birthday treat. Either way, you could change the sentiment and make it perfect for any occasion. All right, make sure you hop back to my blog, check out the free PDF I have to go with this that has all the supplies and the measurements, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye.